Welcome to Beyond the Sprue, your news about new scale model kits. Today we have a major new kit from Border Models, so stay tuned for that and some kits from ICM, Amusing Hobbies and Magic Factory. First up we have an A6M20 fighter from Border Models. It comes with full interior and engine detail. Coming in three schemes. As PE parts and the fuselage is designed with stress skin and added rivets in which they say perfectly replicates the surface details. That's in 135 scale. They have also produced some figures of the appeal Japanese Navy crew, pilots and officers, also in 135 scale, putting them all together onto the Okari bridge. Would make quite an awesome diorama. It is however extremely big and uh, you need to consider this if you've got the room, but I'm sure it'll look brilliant. I think the deck comes with lights. Magic Factory have announced in 1.9 scale, a new tooling of the Honda CBR 1000 Fireblade. In 1.24 scale, ICM are producing a G4 Mercedes car, which comes with two figures and has high detail. The Mercedes-Benz G4 was a luxury four-wheel drive staff cast and it's produced in the 30s. Used by high ranking officials in Nazi Germany, had a very distinctive design with three rows of seats, a powerful straight eight engine and excellent off-road capabilities. I see, um, have also produced in 135 scale a set of four female servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine, depicted in various poses. Amusing Hobby have produced a German super heavy tank, the E100, and also a Leopard 2A8 tank, and these are both in 135 scale. Back to Border Models. They have announced a fantastic Israeli Makava MK20 tank, which comes with full interior. Uh, coming in four schemes, has movable tracks and suspension, all the hatches open as some of the stowage, and it includes storage equipment, and the armored surface on the tank features anti-slip texture. Continue with Border Models new releases, they've released a 135 scale Leopard 2A7V German main battle tank. Uh, we only have screenshots and we can see that it's got photo etch, but I know a little more than that, apart from the fact it obviously has a metal barrel, but it does look quite good. And on the 1st of January, Border Models announced a new tooling for the Heinkel HE3H6 version and this tooling is in 135 scale and has the most incredible detail. This variant played a role in mid to late war campaigns in both the eastern and western France facing challenges as the conflict progressed. Being a variant of the main Heinkor HE3, the H6 model specifically features two Jumo engines. Uh, has many defensive machine guns and comes in ver which come in various positions. Has the capacity to carry bombs for ground attacks. If you've got the room for making a wingspan model of two foot plus, or you want a feature plane, this could well be the plane for you. Can I just ask you if you like the video to uh, show your appreciation and drop me a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these news updates. And um, a young lady's giving me the nudge because she wants to get on the screen. Bye for now.